set out to do big things. I didn't ride and call. I thought I knew it all. I'm going to do the title cut from it in here in a few minutes, but before I do that, to follow Larry's song, I was raised up in the country, and uh, I wrote a song about, it's called Where I'm Coming From, and I uh, wrote it a few years ago, finally recorded it on this new record. Any of y'all have XM series radio, satellite radio in your cars? Well, I don't know if you listen to Bluegrass Junction very much, but they're playing this song quite a bit off my record. And, uh, one of the reasons we haven't had it recorded by a major country artist, I think, is because of a few of the things we say at the tail end of the song. But sometimes you just got to write what you feel and believe. And, yes, sir. Right. You know, not everybody's going to agree with you anyway. So I decided I'd just write what I thought. Everybody else writes what they think. So now's my turn. But anyway, I hope you enjoy this. I'm going to do this for my good buddy, Farrell. Hey, uh, yeah. Yeah. I just wanted to say to everybody there before uh, Jerry did, this is a great song Terry's going to do. That song I just did is going to be on a new CD that will be out in, uh, I'm supposed to find out Monday, but I'm hoping February. Uh, it's a duets thing, and the guy that did the duet with me on that uh, particular piece right there is a fellow named Ken Chesney. So uh, I want y'all to look for this thing when it comes out. I think it's going to be called All Star Duets, maybe. <laughs> If the 4-H club and the FFA were the only local games where you grew up, if the grocery store was an eight-mile ride and the mailman drove from the passenger side, his own truck And if you know the melody And all the words to love lifted me And every Baptist hymn that's ever been sung Then you know where I'm coming from Did you ever wish that you'd never been born Pulling weeds in a field of corn while summer passed you by Did you ever hear a pressure cooker scream While your mom and granny can green beans In mid-July Did you remember how it felt The sting of truth from a leather belt If your daddy made you pay For what you done And whatever mama cooked, you ate your song. And you know where I'm coming from. When you turned 16, did you start to feel small town living wasn't no big deal? You couldn't wait to leave Did you pack the car with all you had And say goodbye to mom and dad To chase a dream Did you ever wake up in the dead of night Sweating to the heat of the city lights I Swear if you could go back you would run Hard work, faith, and family are virtues. 
Just we could use more of these days When I say common sense is in short supply and Criminals have all the rights And I'll die before I let them take my some of your aunts off there talking amongst themselves. You know how they try to talk wolves or anything about it. Has anybody seen Bob? <laughs> well, yes, he come in here about six o'clock this morning. He's back in the back, laid down on the devonette, trying to get him a little nap. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, I wonder who that old gal he had with him was, and what do you reckon he done with poor old Bunch? <laughs> well, I don't know, I tell you. I almost wished he wouldn't show up at this time of year. Just upsets everybody so bad. But you know, I can tell he's hungry. I'm poor little funny. But this is one of them kind of uncles right here. Well, I had an uncle back in East Kentucky. Hang on just a minute, Gordon. This is an audience participation song. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, now it's got a little chorus part here. Jerry will show you where you sang. Here it goes on. That was that, It's real easy. Uncle Bob. Got religion. Got religion. You just repeat that. One more time. Here you go, Larry. Uncle Bob. Uncle Bob. Got religion. Got religion. Awesome. That's great. Yeah, I think they're into it, don't you, Jerry? <laughs> He weighed 300 pounds and wore bibbed overalls. He said he got hurt on the job up in Ohio. And that's the reason he was on the draw. Well, he had a lazy streak, but he liked money. So when he ran short, he just made his own. Whiskey women fighting chickens, cars faster than the dickens. He liked and said he didn't have a soul. One evening, he met a tramp preacher. I drunk at a joint across the line. Well, he said, don't talk to me about the Bible, Rocky boy. Cause I've got other things on my mind. With a married woman in his arms oh, sir. I don't know what he saw in his headlights But it cost him to have a change of heart Here's your time now Hawk of Got religion Well he found Jesus when he failed to pray Hawk of Got religion down on his knees the old time way. I hear you, children. You know, later on he said if he was sorry and repented for the awful things he'd done. Well, he got up and gave his testimony for the Holy Ghost, the Father and the Son. I told you you had a good part. Then he said, hurry, take me to the river. Cause I don't want to wait another day I want to be baptized Preacher, dump me twice To make sure that my sins are washed away Uncle Bob got religion Well, he found Jesus when he fell to pray Uncle Bob got religion Down on his knees the old time way Uncle Bob got religion. Got religion. Well, he found Jesus when he fell to pray. Well, he fell. Uncle Bob got 
CD or not, but I do have four children. And, uh, I really do. I've got three girls and a boy. The baby's a boy. And a few years ago, me and, uh, me and Larry have got a dear friend named Jim Rushing. He's one of the greatest songwriters we've ever been around and uh, wrote a lot of great songs over the years and uh, kind of a mentor to us. He got fed up with the country music a few years ago and decided to move out to Montana and I helped him move out there, which is a whole other story. But while I was out there, um, I missed my boy. He was three years old at the time. His name's Ethan. And Ethan would rather fish than eat. And that's the truth. If you can see how tall and thin he is. He's become a great bass fisherman, by the way. He's 15 years old now. But when he was three years old, I wrote this song for him. And uh, recorded it on my new CD. No one's ever recorded it but me. They play this a little bit on Sirius Satellite, too. But this is to everybody out there, every father who's got a boy out there. in the morning to check on our sleepy head knock open the door and there I see him racing his hot wheels on the edge of his bed says good morning daddy would you like to play you can drive car number three no son I'm already late Take care of your mama for me. In the middle of our weekly staff meeting, the receptionist walks up to me, leans over and whispers so no one can hear her. There's a little voice home for you on line three. But no son, I promise. On Maplewood Lane, he's waving to me from the porch. He's my five o'clock shadow, running across the yard. I'm barely in a driveway, and he's standing at the car. fishing. I've been waiting all day long. He's my five o'clock shadow. The minute I get home. As that hot you it's silently sinking We bait up and cast our last line And as his bother is bobbing I'm silently thinking How two little bluegill Make such a big time Headed home in the dark He's out like a light My little tag along buddy is spent I tuck him in bed with his eyes closed he says daddy when can we do that again he's my five o'clock shadow running across the yard I'm barely in the driveway and he's standing at the car I've been waiting all day long He's my five o'clock shadow
for fifteen dollars a piece. <laughs> Sorry, was it that bad? <laughs> well, y'all want to hear something uh, 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 serious or something completely ridiculous? Ridiculous, yeah, yeah. Ridiculous. Oh, okay. Well, now, one thing I've got is plenty of ridiculous. <laughs> now, um... Amen. How much? Oh, if it's only one more piece here, I'm going to have to do something serious. I'm sorry. Go ahead and do that. Do that, and then we'll do one piece. Okay. 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 Uh, well, I'm going to do you a couple of songs that was inspired by my mother, I guess, because uh, this first one, uh, you know, Mom was an old uh, rural route mail carrier like the one Jerry was talking about in his song there a while ago. And, and one thing, when you live in a small place and you carry the mail, you know everybody's business. So uh, long about the first of the month, she a lot of times would get me to go help her. You know, in East Kentucky, it seems like there was a heavy, heavy volume of mail long about the first of the month. A lot of flyers, box holders. And of course, it's the first time it really dawned on me that people work for the government. Uh, how many people work for the government? I, I didn't realize there was quite that many. Uh, I never quite decided what they did, but they did get paid once a month. Which I thought it was a great thing. I was like, hey, is there any possible way you reckon we could do that? You know, and I said, oh, no, now. That's, that's not right, you know, that's not the way. Anyway. I decided how I mean another uh, gal that I write some songs with would try to write a little song about it. And, but, but, but just before I do it, please indulge me just this little bit right here. My grandfather also told me that there was a guy that come through the country up there in East Kentucky. And he told people he had the power to heal them. Now, you know that's a serious statement. Everybody a little bit dubious of that. But anyway, he said he'd come right down to that old store there he had. He said he'd come to the first guy and he said, sir, he said, you know, I've got the power to heal people, he said. Is there anything wrong with you whatsoever I can help you with? He said, well, he said, you know, his left leg here. He said, I've drunk that thing around for 20 years. He said, I don't want in the world. He reached out and touched him, healed him, just a blink of an eye, buddy. Boy, he shook that thing, son, went off down the road. Just a, just a cut and a die dough, you know. Well, he went just a little bit further, maybe like about from here across the little bay there. Come to the second guy. He says, sir, he said, you know, I've got the power to heal you. He says, anything whatsoever bothering you that I could help you with today, I'd be happy to do it. He said, well, you know, my left shoulder, I can't hardly get my shirt on in the morning. He said, I don't want for all that thing. He said, I've got some heat grease touched him, son. I healed him by blink of the eye. Oh, he shook that thing, son. He made all kinds of dados, you know. Well, he went just about like the brow here where these folks are sitting. Not out of sight. He come up on the third guy who had been watching all this. He said, Mister, whatever you do, don't touch me. I just got my disability. <laughs> this is a song about that. It goes like this. Down in Estill Camp A few years ago Delbert Meeks told his friend He was feeling low Everyone knew he was just a sorry son. Too dang lazy to hold down a job. He called his drinking buddy, Dr. Willie Paul. He said, Doc, could you help me? Get on the draw. You know what I mean. Could you tell my lawyer just how sick I am so he can take my case to the government man? I want to get myself a brown check disability. You know, my back hurts real bad. Oh, it's been a killing me. Gonna get myself a new car. Gonna go in style. Gonna get myself a brown check. I'm gonna rock it wild. Sound real 
bed Like I've got whiplash Why, well, I guess I could take a few odd jobs If they'd pay me cash I don't want to get turned in Hope nobody sees That there's really not a blame thing Wrong with me Want myself a brown chick disability. You know my back hurts real bad. Oh, it's been killing me. Gonna get myself a new car. Gonna go in style, Chevrolet. Gonna get myself a brown chick. I'm gonna rock it wild. I'm gonna get myself a brown chick I'm gonna rock it wide Well, thank you. Thank you so much. We're gonna do one more piece for you. We'll do a little song for you. This has been recorded by several different artists, but never been a big hit yet, but I enjoy playing it. I love to tell stories, and uh, we're going to play a couple of gospel songs. We're going to do a couple of gospel songs for you, if that's all right, before we get out of here. We do thank you all so much for being here. We didn't really didn't expect to see very many people here with college football going on, but we, we really do appreciate you all being here. God bless you all. Thanks for coming out. The song's got a little autobiographical information here for you. So. one here when I was seven years old trying to be Tarzan when the tire swing broke and this one's from high school when I drove off mad tore down that dirt road took the corner too fast got this one one summer on the bank of Salt Creek brother thought he caught a big one, but it was just me and there's one on my heart when I saw daddy cry as they folded up that flag when his daddy died every scar has a story to tell how life left its mark on me what they are. Every scar has a story to tell. Well, everybody's got them. Reminders of our past. Some make us cry. Some make us laugh. Some we wear with honor, and some we try to hide. But the ones that change my life the most aren't even mine. They cover the back of an innocent man. He's got them from nails in his feet and his hands. There's one on his side where a sword cut him deep. They're all over him instead of me. Every scar has a story to tell how love left its mark on me. what they are. Every scar has a story to tell. Every scar has a story to tell.
Thank you.